What Histotripsy does is it takes very high energy ultrasound pulses. It takes a bunch of them, but then it directs all these pulses so they meet in one little point in space. And that point is where you have such high deposition of energy because all of the ultrasound waves are going to that one point, you can create very precise cavitation without destruction of tissue that you don't want to destroy. By virtue of the fact that it's a purely mechanical disruption, it doesn't really care what type of tumor it's targeting. It doesn't matter if it's breast cancer or colon cancer or lung cancer, whatever the case may be, it's all going to sort of meet the same mechanical fate. And so that allows you to, to deploy it across the entire range of different cancer types. The whole history of the technology is two decades of successes and failures and persistence and grit. I wasn't there for the vast majority of those two decades, but the people who were there from the very beginning deserve a great deal of credit. So in 2001, it was science fiction. We trying to find out can we actually use external energy, such as ultrasound, to invent a new procedure that allows us to remove tissue, just like a scalpel, but do it all non-invasively. At the time, a lot of the equipment that we're using was quite primitive. How the world works is, is that parts are built with a purpose in mind, and usually the purpose is not general scientific research, and so there aren't a lot of tools that are out there for applications that are yet to be developed. And so it's a matter of pulling together pieces from different fields and different areas, different disciplines. leaders of this technology. The technology was developed here at the University of Michigan. Most of the research was done here at the University of Michigan. We've clinically adopted it at the University of Michigan. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Coates. I'm one of the interventional radiologists here at U of M Health West. This is our subject, Melissa Cook. And this is what a histotripsy procedure looks like. So this is our treatment head. High powered ultrasound waves which are focused down into our treatment zone. And that treatment zone sits in this water bath and I'm able to steer the treatment zone using the robotic arm to target the lesion in the liver that we want to destroy. My name is Dan Scott, one of the interventional radiographers here at UMH West. When we say minimally invasive for interventional radiology, this goes a step further. There's no incisions and is knifeless. Our average time for a treatment is anywhere between 20 minutes to 40 minutes. I think there's a lot of uh, added uh, enthusiasm over the fact that this does have a homegrown element to it, like a new technology that was really kind of originating here in our backyard. How we use histotripsy right now is just going to be a small fraction of how we use it in the future. Right now, we use it as a therapy to try to get rid of tumors. But in studying this in the laboratory, we've come to realize that it actually changes and remodels the tumor in ways that we really haven't seen before. So for example, tumors have very low levels of oxygen compared to normal tissues. And for various reasons, that actually makes tumors harder to kill. It makes them stronger and also makes it harder for the immune system to come in and try to fight those tumors. When we treat a tumor with histotripsy, we actually reverse that. The oxygen levels actually substantially go up. And so in addition to the killing that you're doing, you're also changing the tumor in ways that make it easier to treat with immune therapies. I can envision a circumstance where we have someone whose cancer doesn't seem to respond to immunotherapy. And so we try histotripsy for no other reason than to convert their cancer to a kind of cancer that becomes susceptible to immunotherapy. 
the pivot point where we began to recognize the clinical potential, especially the immunotherapeutic potential of histotripsy, all of that was enabled by philanthropic sources, families like the Rogel family. You really can't compare it to surgery. You really can't compare it to chemotherapy. Histotripsy just feels very different. You know, we actually created this really a new area in our field. Nobody believed that we actually got that results. But that's why science is interesting, and that's why we do what we do.